welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and today i am here with an unboxing from captured by radiance this is actually a new to me small shop and my friend kara who is the principal diamond painter on youtube a little while back had done an unboxing from this company and mentioned that they had a lot of really great sales going on and so i you know this is one of those companies that, small shops that i have been meaning to try out and from time to time I check in and they wouldn't quite have artwork that was really catching my eye. They have like a lot of landscapes and whatnot. Um, but I, after I saw Kara share about their sale, I decided to go and take a look again. And they have this really beautiful kit by Amy Stewart that I'm going to share with you guys today that was on sale. And so I feel like I had to grab it. So um, now full disclosure, I actually did order this kit a couple of months ago and just haven't had the chance to unbox it before now. So I do think I just checked on their website the other day and it looked like the sale was still running and that this kit was still on sale. So I'll link directly to it. And I mean, as of the time is filming, that sale is active, but uh, my apologies if it's not, feel free to still check out what they have. So um, yeah, okay. So the name of this kit is going to be Leap of Faith, and I just I just cut open the box and just pull out my invoice. I haven't actually unrolled it from here, so let's take a look. Okay. Oh, there is. I was going to say, is there something at the end? There is. Awesome. Okay. Set that off to the side. Okay, so it looks like... The kit is kind of in here, and then there was this toolbox, or toolkit rather, and some, some other goodies included in here. Let's take a look. So we've got their business card, captured by Radiance, the co-founders, and there's, oh, they have a Facebook group. I should join their Facebook group. Um, and then included in here, let's see. Okay. I didn't see a pen. Did it fall out? Or was it maybe, hold on a second, let me double check the box. Okay, well, to be honest, for me, that's not a huge deal. <laughs> I don't see a pen. I just, I see a squishy and I see some thin plastic multi-placers. <laughs> and I'm assuming it was supposed to come with a pen. Um, and then I've got a basic white tray and a pair of tweezers. They're quite sharp, so do keep that cover on them. We've got some blue wax in a little container here. And like most of these waxes, you will see that there is a thin plastic film on there. You wanna make sure you peel that back before you try to load up your pen. And they've also included, is this a cover minder? I think it is. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looks like a like a crystal of some sort actually. Is that what it says? Is that what this uh, note on here is? I don't know if that's the name of a crystal or not, carnelian. But it's really pretty, you guys. And it is a cover mind. It looks like they glued magnets on the back so you can use this to hold back your plastic cover while you're diamond painting. And then we've got a roll of washi tape. But that's really pretty, you guys. It's like a little ocean scene. So there's, you know, it's beyond your basic toolkit. And then let's see what all is in here. I am really looking forward to, I always love trying out a new company. Um, oh, this is big, you guys. <laughs> this is really big. <laughs> um, I don't remember, I thought it was 50. No, it's not 50 by 50, is it 70 by 70? I will, I will take a look, it probably says on here somewhere and I can tell you. Um, oh, look, I found the pen. I found the pen, you guys. Okay, so uh, non-crisis, crisis averted. <laughs> okay, so here's the sticker sheet. There's a look at the artwork, you guys. This is called Leap of Faith by Amy Stewart. And, oh, this is 80 by 80 centimeters. Oh, good. <laughs> I love a big diamond painting. This one I do believe has round diamonds, though, which I love. I love when I'm trying out a new company if they have artwork that I love that's available with round diamonds. I like trying out rounds before I try out squares, but um, it would, yes, it worked out this way. Uh, there's their socials. This is licensed, you guys. Yeah, everything that Capture by Radiance has is, as of the time of this filming, it's legally licensed. Um, I saw that, you know, they have some like, you know, this is licensed through MGL, which is a licensing house. Um, I did say, I believe that they have some AI artwork. So if that's something that, you know, you're either wanting to buy or not wanting to buy, just just be aware. Um, and then they've got some instructions written out for you. I have a beginner video as well that I'll have linked 
below and then i think this is yeah um this looks like sticker paper i could be wrong but it looks and feels like sticker paper to me uh, they do have a color list over here with all of our symbols and the dmc color code system over here on the right hand side that is what most diamond painting companies will use it comes from the dmc brand of floss like with cross stitch it looks like this kit's going to come with four ab colors and it's going to have 52 colors in total so love that i'm just taking a really quick look to see if there are at first glance any symbols that it's looking like may trip me up i do want to take a look and make sure that these ones that are a black color on a dark background are still going to be easy to make out uh, so we'll look at the canvas um, actually in just a moment but here are our diamonds we will look at those more closely after we look at the canvas so let's take a good look at this canvas and see what we're going to be working with here okay so we do have okay we are wanting to, always wanting to curl in a little bit on the sides that's completely normal um you can kind of just roll it back the opposite direction either the whole thing or what i'm just doing which is literally just grabbing the edges and kind of folding it that's the that's the quick and dirty way to do it but uh here's their branding at the top it says captured by radiance your masterpiece awaits and then um coming over to this side we've got a thumbnail and then we've got the title and then copyright Amy Stewart, which by the way, licensing, a licensed piece. The fact that it's licensed means that the artist is given permission for the use of their artwork and is being compensated. Um, and I'm all about supporting shops that are doing right by artists in that sense. So it also tells us again, the size is 80 by 80 centimeters. Just taking a quick look at the canvas. Yes, you can. It's, it's a tiny bit hard to read um, in person but it's pretty clear. Like the printing is really clear. It's just the black on a dark background. It's just a little bit tricky. But if you're a light pad user, that probably will take care of it for you. Okay, so we have a legend or a color list at the top left. And we also have that same color list over here at the bottom right. And then bottom left we've got their socials I gotta go join their Facebook group I'll also have direct links to these down in the description below if you're curious and then there is their tagline again your masterpiece awaits now let's look at the canvas up close again in some other areas um, there are some nice areas of color blocking like this and oh you guys you know what I just realized is this legend is upside down but you know what that's on purpose um, a lot of companies will do this actually on purpose because the idea is that if you flip the canvas upside down to work on it then you have a legend that is is facing you now I don't typically refer to the legend on the canvas what I'm going to do is take the symbols that were on that sticker sheet and put them on the storage containers that I'm gonna put the diamonds into, or you could put them on the baggies the diamonds came in. And I don't refer to the legend at all. I just look at the symbol on the canvas and go directly to where my diamonds are stored and find the symbol on those instead. But it's nice that you have the options. Um, oh, I meant to, I forgot to point out down here at the bottom right, they mentioned their oh snap insurance, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So they have some kind of, you know, guarantee or warranty. Anyway, so um, the printing is really clear. Like I said, this is for, round diamonds and this you know with a good section of color blocking like this i am inclined to think that this has at least some hand charting that's been done to it um hand charting is when you know there's a person that's kind of going in and making tweaks but i don't know for sure i'm not sure if they say as much on their website actually but there is also a lot of confetti that doesn't surprise me though i've worked on a kit i'm actually i'm working on a kit by amy stewart that's um <coughs> excuse me a cross stitch conversion project and her artwork just the way that the colors are done there's going to be a lot of confetti even if it's hand charted so um there is though like look down here i'll explain what that is by the way so color blocking color blocking confetti kind of opposites uh, so sorry i had to cough <laughs> color blocking is like we have here where there's just a lot of the same symbol in a small area like this you'll be able to use a multi-placer and have that color in your tray for longer areas like this tend to go a bit more quickly and a lot of the background on this kit including as we get into the sky even with the color gradients and blending up here there's lots of good chunks of color blocking um and i feel like that's going to help this kit go more quickly which is really nice um but if we take a look at like for example our, our our little carousel horse that is just breaking free there's a lot of color changes in a small area here and we call that confetti 
Um, areas like this tend to take a little bit longer because you're maybe doing more single placing and changing out the color in your tray a bit more often, but you usually are then getting more detail and some better color uh, blending sometimes. So, you know, I like a nice mix of both. This is the top of the carousel here. That's pretty like the lights and all the colors. I am very, very curious to see how this will turn out. I'm trying to remember, it has been a little while. Um, I'm pretty sure, I think that they had the mock-up, like the digital rendering of this on the listing for this piece on the website. And I think that they have that for many of their, many of their pieces, but I could be wrong. So don't, don't quite quote me on that <laughs> if you don't mind. Uh, since I cannot fit this entire piece in frame, I am gonna pop a picture up on the screen for you here so you can see the whole canvas um, in frame if you are interested. Uh, but this looks pretty good. The canvas material, by the way, the backing is this kind of short lint, soft lint canvas that you will see from, um, honestly, I feel like the majority of small shops, this is the canvas material you're seeing at this point and large shops, some large shops too. Um, it's laying flat really nicely. I like what I'm seeing at first glance here. And then it does have poured glue. Oh, very sticky poured glue, actually. Um, you can usually tell if a canvas has poured glue because it has a clear plastic cover, and this is a, a thin plastic cover. So um, let me grab, let's do, let's do a measurement just to see. I do this with all my canvases when I remember, uh, just to see if we're true to size. Okay, so we're at like 80 on the nose that way. And it looks like a perfect square, so I'm guessing it's also gonna be 80 this way, but let's let's take a look. By the way, if you were wondering about how to work on a large diamond painting canvas, yeah, we're 80 that way too. I have a video about that. It's a few years old, but I think that the tips in there are very much still relevant and helpful. So uh, take a look in the description box for that link, as well as a number of other helpful links I'll try to remember to include. Now that's the canvas. Let's look at the diamonds. And I am guessing, yeah, so this is kind of like the unit number here. And you can find that also at the top right of the canvas. And it's on the sticker sheet as well, the 33269-101, etc. Um, that way, you know, if you store the canvas separate from the diamonds and you want to match them up easily later, that's how you can do so. So let's pull these out and take a look. I, of course, want to make sure that I show you the special drill colors and show you how these diamonds uh, come. So they do come in these resealable bags. Some people really enjoy working out of bags. I tend to kit up into storage containers because I'm very klutzy. <laughs> but it looks like the DMC code is printed on here. So the 824 is that. And then this is the weight as well. So sometimes there are multiple bags of the same color. Like this one, we have two bags of 824. And with round diamonds, you know, you're less likely to run into issues because, you know, there's a little bit more wiggle room literally on the canvas for round drills compared to squares. It's one of the reasons I, I really do enjoy when I can test out a company with round drills first. Oh, here's some special drill colors. We're going to look at those after we look at these diamonds. But... Um, I know some people like to know, are they diamonds resin or acrylic? I, I can tell more easily with squares than rounds. And to be honest, when it comes to round diamonds, I'm really fine with either drill material. These just as sort of first glance, like I can just sort of the feel of them in the bag and the little put kind of dimples I can see on the bottom. My guess is that these are acrylic, but honestly, sometimes I prefer working with acrylic rounds. I don't know. I just, oh, there's our other AB. I, you guys, I don't get fussed about <laughs> what the drill material is on round drills. If it were squares, if it were squares, I would care a lot more. So I can't speak to if Captured by Radiance has resin or acrylic squares. Maybe they have it listed on the listings. I would just take a look and see but there's some really, you know, fun colors. There's a lot of dark colors. So do keep that in mind, um, especially with that night sky. I think that that's gonna make the, the really colorful carousel just pop against it though. So our special drills, 
we're gonna have four of them. Uh, we're gonna have red, gray, white, and black. Now these are all AB diamonds. If you take a look, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these get their name from the Northern Lights. And they have this iridescent coating on the top that reflects a variety of colors. They really stand out from regular diamonds quite a lot. They're very bold, especially this black one, this black AB, it kind of looks like an oil slick effect. It's gonna draw your eye to the areas that they have been charted and enhance those areas and highlight them as well. We have these four colors. Um, they're not huge amounts, but let's see if we can find where those are going to go. So I did see when I was looking down here at the bottom actually, kind of in these, I don't know if these are clouds, there's the white AB. If you look at the pattern in the, in the camera actually, where you see the dots breaking up the pattern, that is where the white AB has been, been sprinkled throughout in these areas, it's in this white cloud. It actually is in some of these white areas and just lightly sprinkled. And it's in, you know, there's a little bit in like these clouds over here. I don't see any in this top part of the merry-go-round in here, but it is sprinkled in some of the lights right here, as well as some of that cloud up there. And this, I don't know if that's a light or a cloud on the little kind of flag pole <laughs> bit, but that's where the white AB is going to be. Let's see, that black AB, we're looking for the letter H. I, I have the feeling that's gonna be one of the harder ones to find. Uh, oh, I see it, it is, it's sprinkled. It's sprinkled throughout this background. If you, can, if you guys are looking at this in camera and you see in this solid background where there's these little dots that break it up, that is the black AB. There's a little bit sprinkled in here as well. And that's that's the only spot I'm seeing it so far. I'm not sure if it's up here at the top. Let me take a quick look. Not that I'm seeing. I'm not seeing it up at the top. I'm just seeing it kind of sprinkled back there. Okay. And then we have the red and the gray AB. So I'm looking for the letter K and the letter T. The gray AB, I do see sprinkled in some of these horses. And the red AB is sprinkled in various like of the brighter red areas. There's some red AB right here. There's actually some in this pole back here. There's some in these areas actually. Um, I don't see any down here. Over here, there's a little bit of red AB. And then there's just a, a couple over here. Then how about up here? Let's see. Um, there's a little bit sprinkled in some of these, what I think are like the lights here and here. And I think that's all that I'm seeing of the red AB. And then the gray one, hmm, it's, it's, it's a little bit here in kind of this outline at the top of the, or you know, this part of the carousel. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit in this line as well. There's a good amount of the gray AB right in here, kind of the bottom of the cloud. Um, and like I said, there was a little bit in these horses. And maybe, a yeah, there's a couple over here. Kind of just, honestly, kind of a little bit like random spots, it looks like. I even see like a couple right here. Um... So, you know, just gonna add like little bits of sparkle here and there, <laughs> just a little bit of extra, extra highlight here and there. Uh, it's not too heavy handed. I think that, you know, it's just gonna add a little, a little bit extra, but I'll be curious to see how that looks. So not super overboard on the special drills, but in my honest opinion, this doesn't seem like the kind of artwork that necessarily needs a ton of special drills. But if you wanted to bling it out, go over to DP with sparklers or Diamond Drills USA or something and, go go wild there's there's lots of special drill options out there and some fun ways that you can really enhance and, and bling out a kit if you want but uh this is my like i said my very first kit that i have purchased from this company this is from captured by radiance the name of this piece is leap of faith obviously <laughs> and is by the artist amy stewart it has round diamonds 52 colors with four ab's and i would be really interested to work on this and see how it looks i really enjoy you know trying out new to me companies and and just sort of seeing how it all looks so that i can let you guys know okay here's kind of what to expect from 
from this particular company. So stay tuned. I don't have a specific time on the calendar that I'm planning to work on this, but it is definitely on my radar. But hopefully this still gives you a, a nice look at what, what this kit from this company looks like. And even if it's not the specific kit that's your taste, uh, maybe just a sense of what this, this company's kits look like. So um, let me know what you think, please, in the comments. Have you purchased from Captured by Radiance before? Have you worked on one of their kits? And what's your impression been? I am having a pretty nice like first impression. I like what I'm seeing and I, you know, love to, 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 to try this, uh, working this up. I think especially their sales section makes the price point really, really good for a lot of these kits. So anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. I invite you to subscribe if you want to see more unboxings from me and reviews. And I try to do tutorials. I do weekly weapon chats. I'd love to have you here. Um, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.